here, here's what I, I'm curious about with spirituality. I, I think of, um, well, it's funny. It's a funny word and you really play with it a little bit because, you know, in, in settings I grew up in, spirituality would have been this taboo sort of, uh, uh. is that new age, you know? And then in other settings, it's, it actually is kind of new age and there's that validity to that. And then in my life, it's like, no, this is how I'm becoming like, this is how I connect with the God of that looks like Jesus. And it, it's part of this becoming human thing. Um, there, there's something really integrated here. And so, um, where have we gotten spirituality wrong and what is the Jesus shaped spirituality you're, you're pointing yeah. us towards? It, it's, it's very interesting. And uh, I mean, I use the word spirituality uh, as a, uh, we scholars say, a sort of arm waving thing. It's, a, it's something out there, you know, um, yeah. but yeah. nobody was using the word spirituality when I was a teenager. Um, I first heard it when I was in my mid twenties, people started to talk about different styles of spirituality. And that was a way of acknowledging, for instance, that there were people who I recognized as Christians, but in very different traditions from mine, who probably didn't uh, say their prayers in the way that I did, or didn't enjoy worship services of the kind mm. that I did, but that it was a way of saying, actually, we are all different. And maybe there are different styles of, of spirituality, of how you connect with God, of how you, um, as I would now say, how you live at the dangerous interface between heaven and earth. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Um, and and um, of course, then some people will say, oh, so um, Hindus and Buddhists and people, they have spirituality as well. Well, in a sense, yes, they do. But I would say that actually the Jewish and the Christian tradition of the way in which heaven and earth come together mm. was fully and finally revealed and modeled and demonstrated in Jesus himself. He is the temple. He is the place where heaven and earth come together. That's what yeah. divine and human in Jesus is all about. And yeah. that extraordinary thing about the gift of the Holy Spirit, um, which in a sense we never really understand, but from time to time we, as it were, look at ourselves in the mirror and say, this must have been the spirit at work, yeah. um, wow. whether or not it was seemed dramatic at the time, um, because it seems that here heaven and earth have come together. And that's, that's, I think, the best way of putting it. It's why, for me, John's gospel is so important, because it very explicitly and upfront has this picture of the temple. Jesus speaks of the temple of his body, mm. and we have... Um, Jesus speaking of himself in terms of Jacob's ladder, which is going up and down from heaven yeah. to earth. Um, and, and he is the one who holds heaven and earth together and says, if you stick with me, then you too can be a heaven and earth person. And wow. that, as I've said, that's a very uncomfortable and difficult and often even dangerous place to live. Because when heaven and earth come together, one is opened up, one is vulnerable. There are um, wrong pathways that one can take. Mm -hmm. There are um, temptations which crowd in as Jesus himself found immediately after his baptism. Um, you know, this was a dangerous place to be, yeah. to be the place where the spirit descends and the voice says, you are my beloved child. Whoops, watch out, we're off to the wilderness now. So mm. so in, in case anyone would imagine that spirituality means, oh, that's nice, we escape into this uh, fuzzy sphere and we feel good about ourselves. Well, maybe yeah. you do, but often you don't. Often it means <laughs> you're in the middle of the battle because spirituality includes spiritual warfare as in ephesians 6 and so on so yeah it, it's a, but 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 the word itself enables one to name a sphere of human existence within which these other things can then be teased out yeah wow no i think the the interlocking spheres imagery that you're bringing the temple imagery um mm. that's the kind of spirituality that i i continue mm. to yeah. um explore in my own life with jesus and i see in the new mm -hmm. testament now you know yeah, there's yeah, just yeah. all over the place uh